Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Sheree. Um, if you're new to my channel, I might just do a quick little introduction. So I am a hairdresser. I specialize in rainbow hair colors and I also like to share just um, random bits of information with you on my YouTube channel. Just things that I've kind of ha found helpful for me along the way throughout my career. So today um, I want to just talk to you about products and upselling products. You know what it's like when you're in the salon and you're working for a boss that wants you to sell retail and if you're anything like me um, i had a big problem with that like for a long time i could not sell anything to anyone um, i felt totally guilty and horrible and like i was pushing products on my clients and i was like the meat in the sandwich you've got you know your boss telling you you've got to make sales you don't want to come off like you're trying to sell something to your client and it's an awkward situation and it's just something that's really common and happens all the time so today I want to just talk to you about that and share um, my knowledge with you hopefully I can help you overcome this because I had this problem for years and years um, and it wasn't until I worked for one person in particular who explained it to me and kind of put it to me in a different way that I really was able to sell products like it just it just clicked one day it just clicked you know i look i looked at it from a different perspective that's what happened so instead of thinking to yourself oh crap i'm i'm talking shit to my client i don't want to sell them i don't want to just um take their money you know that's what it felt like for me like i was just tr i was just trying to i don't know take their money out of their pockets or something that was what i felt like and um, that was the problem. I felt that way. And so if you feel that way, then uh, your customers kind of pick up on it. Like they know if you're just doing your job, going through the motions, you know, putting products in front of them, like they can kind of pick up on it that you're not really genuine. Um, and that's true. I wasn't really genuine. I was just doing my job. I was picking up products, putting them in front of the clients and saying, Hey, the, you know, these are good. And it was very robotic. Um, and I never really had much success. So what happened one day was um, I was pulled aside and spoken to about not having, you know, high enough sales for the month. Um, and it was pretty scary, but, you know, it was a very good outcome from that experience. So basically, yeah, I got pulled aside and um, she said to me, you know, why aren't you why aren't you making sales? And I said, oh, I'm trying. And that there, like I was trying, that was also kind of half of the problem. Like it wasn't coming naturally for me is what I'm trying to get out. It was, yeah, I was, so, I was so uncomfortable. It was a me problem and it might be for you. So let me just explain this to you. So uh, the thing that, the lightning bolt that struck me, the thing that kind of clicked in my brain that changed the way that I, M with my clients with retail was to look at it from a different perspective. So look at it, don't look at it like I'm selling, I'm upselling, I'm selling to my client. Don't look at it like that, all right? Just try and think of this as I'm educating my client, I'm helping my client, I'm giving my client the best advice so that she can look after her hair, so that her hair is gonna be in better condition, so that her color is gonna last her longer. I'm fixing the problems that she has like is it frizzy is it dry is it lacking in volume is it this is it that like listen to their problems and um, try and help them fix their problems and not only that but actually explaining how to use their products so like um, typically what I would do is go and grab products off the shelf to what I thought they needed I would probably grab about three or four different products for them sit them in front of them and actually go through step by step how to use those products. And if you get someone that shuts you down straight away and is like, oh no, I've, I don't need anything, don't worry, keep going. Don't let them shut you down because it's not about making the sale, it's about educating the customer. So that has happened to me a few times. Like people have been quite rude. You know, I've gone, grabbed my four products sat them in front, started to run through, and they've just been like, oh, no, no, no. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna explain this to you anyway, because 
um, they, they build a trust with you. Even if they don't make a sale, they appreciate it and they might learn something that they didn't already know. So for example, I will tell them how to shampoo their hair. So I will say, okay, this is a good shampoo. This is gonna suit you. This is how you use it. So you wet down your hair, you'll put a little bit in your hand, you will rub it in your hands like this so that it's not a blob that's gonna go right there in one spot. So rub it in your hands, spread it out and go blob, blob, and then lather it. And you know, right from there, I'm explaining to them how to actually shampoo their hair. Um, I will tell them that you need to do two shampoos and I'll just explain to them why. I'll just be like, okay, the first shampoo is gonna just remove all the dirt from the outside of the hair. The second shampoo is gonna lather more, open up the cuticle and really clean from the inside out. And then they kind of, they get interested and they're like, oh, you know, cause you, you're explaining how everything works to them. It's interesting. So then I'll tell them, okay. And then once you've done your two shampoos, you will dry your hair a little bit with like a, um, there's a random cat over there. See the cat? Random. <laughs> This is where my mind goes when I make these little videos. This is just, just, just looking at me awkwardly now. It's a random cat. I completely lost my train of thought. Okay, so we were at the shampoo. We've moved on from the shampoo and then I tell them, so towel dry your hair first before you put your conditioner on. And this is to take the water out of your hair so that you're not gonna dilute the next product that you're gonna put on. And it's every little thing like that that is gonna make the biggest difference for your client. You know, explain it to them in a way like just say, when you put your conditioner on, if your hair is sopping wet, that's gonna dilute the conditioner and you're gonna feel like you need to go back and put more and more on and then you're just wasting product, you know? So once you explain these little things to them, things start to kind of click in their head. And you know what, even if they don't buy a product, they are gonna walk away um, with knowledge and they're going to think that you are sincere. You, what you are doing is genuinely helping them so that they can have better hair. You are looking after them. So try and think of it in that way. Try and just step away from thinking, oh my God, I'm selling, I'm upselling. I'm just trying to take my client's money. Like, no, that's not what you're doing. What you're doing is educating your client. I think I've said that about 10 times. You are helping these people. You're helping them. Think about that. Like, and as soon as I switched from that mentality to I'm helping, I could sell. I could sell my products because I was genuine. I believed that what I was doing was right and like was sincere. And now I can sell. I can sell whatever like i can sell a 40 dollar treatment 50 dollar treatment i can sell olaplex you know like it, it doesn't matter because i i believe what i'm saying i know what i'm saying and my customers know as well they know if you're being real they can tell um yeah and that's it so i really hope that that helps you and uh, i had heaps of bosses before this one in particular try and pressure me to sell no one ever took the time to explain things to me in this way. And it wasn't until I was told this um, that I ever, that it never helped me. It's no good to just say to someone, you need to sell more product. That never worked for me. Yeah, so I hope that that can help you. That's my dog. <laughs> That's randomly. We've had a dog, we've had a cat in this video. It's been great. Anyway. Yeah, like I was saying, I really hope that that can help you. And you need to believe that you are helping your clients. You are not just trying to shove products down their throat. You are helping them, genuinely helping them so that they can have the knowledge and the products, the, the correct products, and they, they can then look after their hair. Same way upsell treatments as well. Like um, a nice little tip uh, from a salesy point of view is always put more products in front of them than what you want to sell. So maybe go and grab four different products and uh, usually they will take like two if you show them four. So you always kind of show them more and then they take less. That's just a little salesy thing. Um, but yeah, and if you want to go more in depth, you can like do up a little sheet of paper um, explaining all the steps and what they need to do and just like a, a little hair care thing so that when they go home, they've got a little piece of paper um, that you have given them so that anything that you've said, if they forget, they have a reference. They can go back and look at this little piece of paper and they can know how to look after their hair because it would amaze you how many people don't actually know how to just do the simple things. Like, don't know that it's a good idea to take the water out of your hair. And even then, 
telling them how to take the water out of their hair. Like I even go so far as to say to them, make sure you're just squeezing, don't rub. Because if you've got bleached hair and you rubbing, like that's gonna cause damage. So just squeeze the water out of your hair. And um, maybe you could just put a little face washer in your shower if you don't wanna have to get out of the shower, combing it through so that you're not just going like that and missing all that hair in the inside, combing it through, you know? Tell them these things, then they're gonna trust you and they should because you are the professional and you are genuinely giving them advice that will help them. So that's all for today's video. Um, I hope that that has helped you. If you have liked this video, can you please give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you want more um, helpful videos like these. Thank you so much, bye.